3 power x is equals to 4 to the power of x minus 1, then what is the value of x? We have been given that 3 power x is equals to 4 to the power of x minus 1, then what is the value of x? So, now since we have been given 3 power x equals to 4 power x minus 1, which are in exponential form, let us try to convert them into logarithmic form. So, I will write down 3 power x equals to 4 power x minus 1. Applying log on both the sides, we will have log of 3 power x is equals to logarithm of 4 to the power of x minus 1 and that x will come to the front. Then we will have x log 3 equals to x minus 1 into log 4. Let us open the bracket. We will have x log 3 is equals to x log 4 minus log 4. Now, since we need to calculate what is the value of x, let us get them to one side we will have x into log 3 minus log 4 is equals to minus of log 4 or can we write down x equals to minus log 4 divided by log 3 minus log 4. Now, if we multiply with minus, we will get our final answer that is x equals to write down here logarithm of 4 divided by log of 4 minus log of 3. Now, this is the x value what we got. Now, let us look at the options and see which of them are correct. Whatever we got here, we do not have the base, but here in the options, all of them have base. So, let me first try to simplify this and say x equals to log 4 which is equals to log 2 square divided by logarithm of 2 square minus logarithm of 3 or can I say 2 log 2 divided by 2 log 2 minus logarithm of 3. Now, if you look at first option, we have 2 log 2 to base log 3 and this thing became 1. This became 1 that means everything is divided with log 3. So, we will have 2 of log 2 divided by log of 3 by 2 log of 2 minus log of 3 that whole thing is divided by again log of 3. Now, when we do that it will become 2 of logarithm of 2 to base 3 minus 2 of logarithm 2 to base 3 minus 1 which is option A. Now, how option A can be changed into other options? Let us have a look at it. If we look at option A and option B, what we see is in the option B log 2, 3 is absent. That means everything is divided by log 2, 3. So, let us take whatever we got just now 2 into logarithm of 2 to base 3. I will divide with logarithm of 2 to base 3 numerator and go to the denominator, we will have 2 into logarithm of 2 to base 3 minus 1. This whole thing is again divided by logarithm of 2 to base 3. Now, they will cancel, you get a 2 divided by. Here, we will have 2 minus 1 divided by log of 2 base 3. So, the base will switch, it will become log of 3 base 2. So, option B is also correct. Now, let us see 
option C. What we have there is 1 divided by 1 minus. That means this 2 is disappearing there. That means we have to divide both numerator and denominator by 2. Let us do that. Whatever we got now just let us divide numerator and denominator by 2. Then we will have 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 minus logarithm of 3 to base 2 into 1 by 2. So, 2 by 2 is 1, 2 by 2 is 1 minus 1 by 2 log of 3 to base 2, but this is equals to 1 divided by 1 minus logarithm of 3 to base 4, because if it is 1 by 2, then that will become when it goes here, it will become 2 square. So, that is why this is 1 divided by 1 minus log 3 to base 4. So, A, B, C are correct. Certainly, D is wrong because it is 2 to 3 here and it is 3 to 2 here, which is not correct. So, D is not the wrong right option. A, B, C are the correct options.